First graders, welcome to um, part two of week three, learning on a computer. Um, so I'm glad to be talking to you guys again, and we're going to be doing your favorite part uh, of the video segment right now, and that's writing the words. I know you guys like this. You're going to need something to write on, something to write with. So um, if you don't have that, put the video on pause and go right now and get either a piece of paper and pen or pencil or a whiteboard and a dry erase marker. Okay, and we're going to get started on writing our words. So we're going to write four words today, and then we're going to sound some words out. All right, so let's get ready for our first word. We're going to pound it out. The first word we're going to do is drip. Ready? Drip. One syllable. Let's count the sounds. D -r -i -p. Drip. Now remember, in class we had to work on this. Sometimes um, kids wanted to write drip, like with a J. That's not a J sound. This is drip with a d in the beginning. So say that word slowly to yourself as you write down your sounds. Okay, here we go. Drip. And when you're done, look up here and let's see how we did. Okay, we have two consonants working together to make that dr sound. The D and the R. Drip. Does yours look like mine? Drip. All right, you can leave that word right up there because the next word we're going to do is dripping. So let's um, pound this word out. Ready? How many syllables? Dripping. Two, two syllables. And let's count the sounds. Ready? D -r -i -p ing. We're using, uh, we say ing is one chunk, right? Dripping. Okay, go ahead and write that word underneath drip. We're writing dripping and do the same thing. Slowly sound that word out to yourself as you write it on your board or paper. And then when you're done, look up here. Okay, so for dripping, we're going to have the word drip, just like we did up here, drip. And we heard that ing at the end, right? And we know that ing is ing. Do you remember in class how we talked about if a word ends with a consonant letter, before we add ing, we're going to double that consonant letter. So p is a consonant, so we have two p's there. Okay, so drip has one p. Before we add the ing, we have another one. So dripping is d-r-i-p-p-i-n-g. Good job. Okay, I'm going to erase my board. If you're using pencil and paper, you don't have to worry about it. And our next word that we're going to do is dream. And um, I want you to remember from the first video this week um, what we worked on to make the E sound. Remember we worked on E-A. So last week we worked on E-E -E saying E and this week we worked on E-A saying E. So just a little clue as we write the word dream. So go ahead and say that word to yourself as you write it down on your um, paper or whiteboard. And after you write it down, go back and say that word to yourself, stretching it out, saying it slowly, and see, ask yourself, do I have a letter down for every sound that I hear? And sometimes the sound takes more than one letter, right? Okay, let's look at our word. So just like in the word drip, we have that um, dr consonant blend again going dr. So we have dr. Now look at to get the e sound. We have E-A, because that's what we worked on for this week. Dream, dream. Now, you may have, you spelled it like this, good job. And maybe you've seen this word before in some stories. You may have, when you were sounding it out, wrote the word dream this way. Does that say dream? If I saw it on your paper, I would say that said dream. Dream, because can two E's say E? Yes. That's just not the way that we um, spell it, okay? We, we spell it D-R-E-A-M, so if you see it in the book, it's going to be spelled like this. Maybe you wrote it this way, with that magic E on the end. So sometimes we have that magic E or silent E on the end, and that'll make it the vowel say its name, E. Would this say dream? Yes, if I saw 
this word in your writing, in first grade writing, I would, I would know that that was the word dream that you were trying to write. But this is the way um, that we're going to see it written in books. This is the way that adults write it. Good job. Let's do one more word. And that word is peach. I feel like the fruit. So let's pound that word out. How many syllables? Peach. One syllable. Let's count the sounds. Ready? P e -ch. Peach. Ready? Go ahead and say that word slowly to yourself as you write it down. Peach. And when you have it um, written down, look up here. So we have P E. We're using that E A again because that's what we were working on. Would E E make the same sound? Yes, but the way that you spell peach is with E A. So P, and then at the end we have a ch. And we know it's C H um, that says ch. Just as a reminder, what does S H say? Sometimes we confuse the two. SH says shh, SH sisters, right? But CH is like that train, ch, 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 peach, job. Okay, we're gonna sound out um, a few words before we end this video. Okay, remember um, that we've worked on words that end in S. We wanna cover that S up and sound, let me make sure I'm not covering up the other letter, sound out the word without the S and then add the S sound to the end once we know what the word is, okay? So for sounding this out, we're gonna sound out without the S first, lot, lot, and then we add the S at the end, lots. So I have lots of peaches. Okay, look at this word, it has our new um, EA team there. We know that EA says E, so this word is eat. Down here, same word, but we've added ing. So this word is eating. Notice in this word they did not, in eating, you do not double the um, T at the end of the word. We just wrote this word, what was this one? Dripping. Over here we had the word drip, and we do double the P for dripping. Okay, what about this one, what do we have? Ready? Get. This is the word we just wrote. What was this one? Everybody? Dream. Okay, looking up here, you guys sound it out, and then we'll say it together. Tent. This one, a word that ends with an S, so we want to cover that S up. What's that word? Eat, and then we put the S on, eats. We just talked about this one. This was drip. This word sounded out, and then we'll say it together. Everybody, gut. This word has E-E -E that we worked on last week, making that E sound. Look at the word, sound it out. Everybody, feel. And this last one is the word that we just wrote. So let's say it together. Peach. Okay, let's go through our words quickly. Here we go. Lots. Eat. Eating. Dripping. Get. Dream. Tent. Eats. Drip. Gut. Feel. Peach. Nice work, first graders. Um, so part three is going to be a story. So if you have time, you can start up part three and listen to our story about sharks. And if not, maybe you'll get a chance to listen to that later this week. Okay? Talk to you later. Bye-bye.